this is not going to be uh, an exhaustive discussion of this topic, but it will introduce it, which is, as I have had more time to teach people over time, I use vocalizations, the use of the voice to help teach certain things with uh, chromatic harmonica. As an example, if you want to teach someone how to do a tongue tap, percussive start to the note, you just have them go so that T sound with vocal really helps people to go, oh, okay, I get that. And that's actually created by the tongue up against the what's uh, called the hard ridge, uh, which is kind of that ridge behind your teeth on the hard palate. So that's that's one. Now, suppose that you're working with someone on like larynx glottis vibrato. Okay, you have to help them pick out where this is in the body and the way to do that is Like when you're going to spit, that's, that's the larynx glottis, okay? And suppose that you want to teach somebody the easiest form of vibrato, vibrato going, which is lip vibrato. You go. Now it's not. It's. The lips come close, but they don't touch. So for that one again, it's and often when I'm teaching people this, they'll go up, 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 up. I go, no, 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 no percussion. So these are just some of the, uh, the uses of vocalizations to help us to understand what to do with this whole thing called embouchure to control the chromatic harmonica. Makes things easy, makes things fun. It's another tool vocalizations to help learn chromatic harmonics.